Today let us use the script note for Jira on server to copy not just one but all the comments from one issue to another issue and uh, it could be linked issue for example. Now we have discussed uh, this in the past but in one of my previous video I talked about how to copy a comment just one comment. So if I go to my mastering uh, script now for Jira uh, page on the on the website ravisagar.in I can uh, maybe do a control F and search for uh, comments for example. Now you can see here that you will probably find a few videos talking about uh, comments but the one that I want to talk about is uh, create comments on linked issue. Now in this video I basically showed you how to copy a comment that is it simple copy a comment um, from one issue to another issue and uh, you may want to do it maybe for cases where you have incidents linked to bug, bugs linked to problem, problem linked to change management and so on and uh, there are so many use cases where you may want to copy a comment but in this video let us do something uh, cool because we like doing cool things. Let us say you have an issue which is in this case a, a subtask it could be a it could be a normal task but what what we want to do really is we have let us say this issue linked to an incident now imagine that this is a bug which is linked to an incident and uh, or you can think of any other use case L let us focus on the technical aspect today so what i want to do is i want to copy all the comments so on my subtask i may have uh, let us say 3 4 5 maybe n number of comments so we can copy the comments as it is with the comment body, the comment author, the comment uh, date. So let us say you have a comment. This is uh, my third comment on this issue. So you can uh, you can add it. Let us add a comment. Now to copy this comment using a script now you can use a very simple script that I have written. So basically what you need to do first you have you have to fetch all the comments on this issue then you need to use uh, this linked issue and uh, you in your code you can specify the link type or basically um, all the outgoing or incoming links and then when you reach this uh, issue which is our target issue you may want to copy the comments as it is and let me show you the code then we'll run the code. So this is the code. It is of course very simple. Uh, the first thing that I'm doing is I'm fetching the uh, issue. Of course in this example I'm hard coding the issue key here which is my ISD6 because I want to start from this issue. I want to copy the comments of this issue to the other issue. So I'll change the issue key here. Issue key is ISD-6 and by the way if you're using this uh, code in the post function or maybe a listener just commented out and then I am fetching all the outward links and uh, then I am just creating a simple loop um, where I am um, iterating over all the issues in uh, all the outgoing issues all the all the linked issues basically and for each and every for each and every issue for each and every linked issue I am simply uh, iterating over the comments and one by one I am copying that in individual comment and I am creating it on the target issue and the target issue is of course the uh, the issue which is which is the I mean you, you can fetch this using a get destination object and rest of the things are very straightforward like you are able to fetch you can easily fetch the author application user which is the user in the comment you can uh, f you, you can use this method Th there are a couple of methods here you can either use simply create with the less number of parameters you can uh, search in the java docs to find out all the uh, possible ways of creating a comment i am basically trying to copy as much as i can so if if you pass all the parameters like uh, the author application user the update author application user uh, the body of the comment uh, group level row level id the 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 create the created date the updation date and there is a flag i forgot the flag to be honest 
I think it was about about sending a notification. I don't remember, or like a sending any like generating an event. But anyways, you can uh, just know more about the create uh, method if you look in the Java docs, or you can uh, maybe do something like this when you are writing when you if you are using IntelliJ. So if you do something like comment uh, manager, which is of course uh, the 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 instance of uh, comment manager. and then you can see here the different variations of the create uh, method so it based on what you pass as the argument as an argument you can do different things in the previous example we just copied one we just created one comment uh, it was all about adding the last comment not like copying the, the whole list of comments so what we'll do is uh, we'll uh, run this uh, code and for running this code i think i can go to the i think i can go to the console so let's go to the console and uh, i will then use the script you can copy and paste the script as it is in the console or uh, if you prefer using the file uh, the code that you may have on the server you can specify the path if it is reachable by your uh, script console so i'm just using the, the 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 file name which is copy comments linked issue and i'm running it let us see if it works the code is of course very simple and i i have not really done logging and i'm not really printing anything but will of course if 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 the code runs successfully then we'll go to the issue and we'll validate if it if it works or not and by the way keep in mind that i'm using this for uh, i believe this is the outgoing issue and we have talked about this outgoing and incoming like outward and inward description the you know when we when it comes to issue links people usually get confused so i don't normally bother too much <laughs> trying to understand the direction i just run the code and validate whether it worked or not otherwise we'll use a different link type so there is no error so it seems like something happened so what we'll do we'll uh, go to this issue and uh, we'll validate whether the comments were copied or not and uh, we should have three comments and all these three comments should have of course i was uh, i just added these comments like few minutes ago you can see that there is a time and uh, let us go to the target issue and take a look at the take a look at the comments if we have any comments or not if not we'll probably change the direction of uh, the um of the issue we'll probably start from this issue and we'll we'll see if we are able to copy the comments uh the other side so let us just wait for it i think uh, nothing really happened so what if, what we can also do is we can just add comment here and we'll sim simply flip the direction like switch the direction so let me just wait for the issue to completely load my jira instance on local is a bit slow today but it's okay and by the way you can also do the same thing in the code so if you want you can uh, uh use the inward links instead of outward so that is really up to you but i just wanted to talk about how it can oh no i think it worked so it seems to be okay so you can see here the author name is correct uh, which is of course admin which is me you can see the time is also correct like 14 minutes 13 minutes and uh, 6 minutes so it seems to be all right i think it worked and uh, you can of course uh, when you're writing a code make sure you are checking for errors and uh, i just wanted to talk about this comment manager and basically this method to create an issue and as usual you will find uh, the link to the script in the description and one more thing if you have any issues uh, with any of my video or if you think you need further help i think i have talked about this um recently couple of times but i think i can all, i can again talk about it because i'm trying to channelize all the requests that you guys send me so if you go to the if you go to my my, my website uh, ravisagar.in you will probably find this uh, floating contact us uh, let me just get rid of my my nice face so you can see here that there is a button called not a button but a floating icon kind of a thing contact me if you click on it fill up a form it will uh, it will basically create a ticket for me and then i will uh, be able to prioritize your request so if the script is not working or if you think you have any 
suggestion for me yeah read the ticket for me i'll make sure i'll i'll read it and uh, i'll get back to you definitely i try to get back to each one of you but uh, when you send request from different ways like email linkedin messages or a reply on twitter or a comment on my video i am not really able to uh, consolidate those requests all the time so that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you also learned something new today thank you very much